All right, everyone, back at the lake. First hand, I look down at ace, queen, 10, four, double suited under the gun in a straddled pot. I make it 40, and there are four callers, so we're going five ways to a flop. Flop comes nine, five, four with two spades. Checks to me, I check over to middle position player who bets 200. Late position calls over to the small blind who thinks for a bit and then jams for 925. Big blind folds to me, and I also fold. Here, I look down at ace, queen, seven, two, double suited in the small blind. There's an early position limp. Over to middle position player who makes it 20. Folds to me, I call, the big blind calls and the limper calls. So we're going four ways to a flop. Up comes jack five three with two hearts. I check over to the original raiser who bets 60. Back to me, I check raise to 200. Folds back to him, he doesn't think too long before shoving. And of course I make the call. So we're going heads up to a run out. Turn gives us some additional equity with the 10. River looks to be a pretty good card for us in a four. And my opponent turns over his hand. He has queen nine, five, five. So he flopped a set with hearts. And we're going to take it down here with the wheel. Here we look down at ace, queen, 10, 10, single suited under the gun in a straddle pot. I limp over to the small blind who calls. Big blind also calls. Straddler checks. So we're going four ways to a flop. Flop comes eight, eight, five, rainbow. Action checks through. So still going four ways to a turn. Turn brings the three of diamonds, bringing in the backdoor flush draw. Small blind bets 25, big blind calls, straddler folds to me, and I make the call. So we're going three ways to a river. River does bring in the flush with a six of diamonds. Small blind checks over to the big blind who bets 100. And over to me, it's definitely too good, I believe, to fold. So I make the call, and the small blind thinks for a bit before folding. The big blind shows his hand. He has 4-2 for the rivered straight, and I turn my hand over, and he mucks his other two cards. So we're taking it down here. Here look down at King King 9 8, double suited in the small blind in a straddled pot. Cutoff limps, folds to me. I make it 40. The straddler calls and the cutoff calls. So we're going three ways to a flop. Flop comes 5 4 3 rainbow. I check, straddler checks over to the cutoff who bets 100, and I fold. Here look down at Ace King Jack 8, single suited on the button. Folds to the cutoff who makes it 20. I call and both the blinds call. So we're going four ways to a flop. Up comes King, Queen, Jack, Rainbow. Checks to the original Razor who bets 40. I call and both the blinds call. So still going four ways to a turn. Turn brings a five and action checks to me. Doesn't really seem like anyone is super strong here. The cutoff might have just been kind of sea betting and who knows what the blinds have. So I decide to bet 100 and small blind thinks for a bit and check raises to 300. Both players fold to me. And this is the player that actually folded the queen high wrap with the queen high flush draw a couple videos ago. So he's a pretty tight, solid player. I don't see him doing this with anything worse than 10-9. So I also decide to fold. What's up, everyone? Just giving you a quick reminder that today is the last day to get into the PLO Posse for $29 a month. We currently have 13 members who range anywhere from complete beginners to more professional players. And we have something for everyone in there. We also have Zepha Poker and Poker Jesus. I know there's been a lot of players asking me about online. They play a lot of online hands, so together we're gonna to be able to give you guys some great feedback. Really the reason I created the chat was because coming up, one of the biggest things that was helpful in me growing my game was having my good friend Mark just to be able to text and kind of bounce hands off of. And I know that that's something that's not easy to obtain. So that's really the main reason for the chat. You know, people are in there, they're already posting their hands. There's multiple players, you know, commenting and giving them feedback that they're going to be able to implement for the next time they play. Um, you know, this isn't your traditional training method where you pay $300 for 87 videos that were filmed four years ago. This is something that we're updating and changing with the times. For example, there's been people asking me about bomb pots. I'm actually playing the bomb pot only game today at Resorts World. So I'm going to add a bomb pot only section there because that's obviously something that a lot of people are starting to play now, especially you Texas guys. Um, so the way you join is down in the link below. It's a Patreon link that's going to actually connect you to the Discord chat. And if you have any questions, let me know and I'll see you guys in there. Here look down at Ace Queen Jack 8, single suited on the button in a straddle pot. There are two limpers to me. I also limp. One of the blinds completes and straddler checks. So we're going four ways to a flop. Well comes Ace 8 3 rainbow. Checks to me. I bet 30 and there are two callers. So we're going three ways to a turn. Turn brings a king of hearts, bringing in the backdoor flush draw. Checks to me again and I bet 70 and there's one caller. So we're going heads up to a river. River brings a queen and my opponent checks to me. I don't really believe I can get value from worse here. So I decide to check back and I turn over my hand and we're good. So taking down a pretty decent sized pot. Here look down at ace eight six four double suited on the button in a straddled pot. Folds to the player to my right who opens the 40. I call and there's one other caller. So we're going three ways to a flop. Flop comes ace 10 seven with two clubs. The original razor bets 80. 
over to me, I make a 250, folds back to him and he makes the call. So we're going heads up to a turn. Turn brings a nine, my opponent has about 250 left and he puts it all in the middle and I quickly make the call. So we're going heads up to a river. River brings a king and my opponent doesn't look too happy. I just turn over my hand and show him the straight and he looks for a bit and mucks. So taking down a pretty good size pot here. I look down at ace, ace, king, six, single suited in the cutoff. Folds to me, I open a 20 and only the big blind call. So we're going heads up to a flop. Up comes king, king, seven. Checks to me, I bet 25 and my opponent quickly calls. So we're going heads up to a turn. Turn brings another seven and the seven of diamonds, bringing in the backdoor flush draw. My opponent checks to me again, and I should still have the best hand here, so I bet 55, and he quickly makes the call. So still heads up to a river. River brings a 10, and my opponent checks to me again, and I don't know if in the moment I just kind of sense something, but I checked back pretty quickly, and my opponent turns over king, queen, jack, 10. So he turned the flush draw to go with his trips and filled up on the river. And while he's kind of taking in the pot, he makes a comment saying, how do you not bet that river? And he kind of gets a little upset about it. And uh, like I said, I don't know, I just kind of felt something in the moment. 10 wasn't really a good card. You know, if it was probably a uh, lower card, lower than a seven, I probably bet, but he's gonna take it down here. I look down at ace, ace, queen, seven, double suited in the hijack. There's an under the gun open at 20. Player to my right makes it 70. I call back to the under the gun opener who also calls. So we're going three ways to a flop. Flop comes 7-6-2 with two diamonds. Both my opponents check to me. I bet 200 and they both fold, so we take it down. Here look down at ace-queen-10-2 double suited in the big blind in a straddled pot. Cut off and small blind limp to me. I also limp and the straddler checks, so we're going four ways to a flop. Flop comes ace-5-2 with two spades. Small blind bets 25. I call and the cutoff call, so we're going three ways to a turn. Turn brings another two. Small blind checks to me. I bet 40. Over to the cutoff who makes it 140. Small blind folds over to me. I ended up tanking for over a minute. This player, he does spew from time to time, but for the most part, he's pretty solid. And I don't know, I just kept going back and forth in my head, but I eventually just decided to go with it and re-pushed and he quickly made the call. I asked him if he had a certain hand and he said yes. And River comes out 10 of spades, so it gives us a flush, but obviously it doesn't mean anything. And my opponent turns over ace jack five five. So that's the exact hand that I asked him if he had, and he's gonna take it down. I wrote down a couple lessons for myself after that hand and they are leave when you think about leaving and go with your gut. Um, I had family in town so I actually was thinking about leaving a little bit before this and go with my gut. Um, you know I pretty much put him on fives but I still made the undisciplined call. So that kind of made it more frustrating for me and after that I actually decided to rack up. What's up guys, Wayne back here with you. So today I was in for 600 out for 1185 so profit of 585. Kind of mad at myself for uh, making the bad call there at the end. I kind of put him on five, still called anyway. Um, plus, game took a turn for the worse. Uh, I was also kind of dealing with a slight headache most of the day, so decided to rack up after four hours. If you haven't done so, check out my previous video. I'll link it up here, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care.